Welcome back to the Hard West. Today we're continuing our last chapter with uh, Warren and his newly freed general uh, ba a bunch or posse of badasses. We got uh, Shivio, uh, a native uh, Indian who doesn't re really, a Native American who doesn't really speak English, but he certainly has a shit ton of anger inside of him tactical sniper i like it uh, he did pretty well in the last uh, match and we have Randy harden general um, tactical generary superiority and he has fringe connections well that's good we certainly had a nice little shootout with all of the ladies at the brothel that being said we now have a bit of stuff to sell we used, unfortunately, one of our st uh, stim packs, but that's okay. Bloodstained the shirt. And stimulants. So that's as much cash as we can afford to give. And God. Uh, the sort of shotgun is really really bad so might as well sell it in return to and return for a pretty pretty good gun either we're going to uh, for the cannon uh, calavera or for the holy musket we're starting with the cannon calavera uh, offering some cash in return so that's a very very good weapon We're still requiring way more money. Let's go to the quick wagon. A lonely, um, dilapidated wagon was parked outside a populated resting ground. Dr. Mason von Warner's wagon smelled very strong of uh, liquor. No, it must have been antiseptic. The doctor looked at you with an absent minded uh, through his greasy glasses. You may have been drunk and high on opium, but he was the only medic in the area. We did not want to have any healing. We asked whether he could help with Harden's embarrassing problem. The quark admitted he had a single dose of uh, mercury stashed for emergencies that would te temporarily uh, relieve Harden's ailment, but the effect would vanish after a while. Name the price and whether you want to administer it now. Prefer to save it for an option later. What kind of healing supplies does he have? Oh nice, he has healing elixirs. We could actually use those. And he also has mandrake roots, which aren't bad either. So let's go for two healing elixirs and for two mandrake roots. So those are pretty helpful. I don't know what Harden's problem is. Is he having a wound? Ah, syphilis. Well, yeah, if you're in the brothel bro uh, body, that might be a problem. Uh, but yeah, that's just another illness. You'll get over it. it. Doesn't kill you, makes you stronger, you know. Let's go for the church. Local chapel use, uh, uh, used a piece of a meteor as the main jewel around uh, the communion chalice. Victor Simon Sams whose local respectfully called the bishop, refused to surrender the stone. The only option was to shoot him in the face, whether the consequences there were for killing a man of God uh, on a consecrated soil. Yep, that's pretty much it. Um, the vicar never stood a chance. You claimed the piece of a meteor, but as you touched it, you began to cough badly. The piece of the meteor in uh, your hand heated up, melted and sank into your skin. You felt empowered, but you wanted to collect these pieces to drive persons out of the hiding. You had to avoid burning them up. Interesting. Just out of interest, so we do have plus 20 side, but we get a rattling uh, cuff. Well, that's okay. I'm all up for wounds. This wild land was uh, Indian property. The rumors were true. A powerful native mystic lived in uh, here who could take the form of a cougar. It was said he possessed another piece of the meteor. We're tracking down the cougar. 
Shiro quickly uh, found the trail. A couple of hours later you had found the cougar. It looked ordinary except for an unusual pattern in its face and the necklace with a piece of rock tied to it. <laughs> you let the uh, uh, Chivayo do the talking. The native warrior slowly approached the cougar, chanting it by the song. Then the language it was a tense scene. You expect the Chivoro to be ripped apart any second, slowly but surely. However, Chiveo approached it and held his hand out to the cougar, who was relinquished uh, the stone without objection. You collected another piece of the meteor. Burning it up would give you extra power. Keeping it would help you to recruit another companion. You decide to keep it. Not sure if we need another companion though. Chevio told you of a wandering healer with unique skills who could help uh, him. He said it was your choice. Uh, the wound was not critical and healing would not be free. No, we're not giving him any money. Fuck off. Illegal mines. You came across a prospecting site where a group of slaves told a narrow coffin side, uh, a coffin sized hold in, uh, holes in the ground, hauling silver from beneath the earth. It was um, doubtful these mines were sanctioned by the authorities. Rumors led that um, Mr. Breck, one of the uh, proprietors had a collection of precious stones. A piece of the meteor was his most prized piece. You threatened them with violence. Your threats fell on deaf ears. You had to kill them. They put up a fight and wounded one of your companions. But at the end you retrieved the stone. That's good. We got a wound and the stone and saved 50 gold. That's perfect. Um, you collect another piece of the meteor, burning it up would give you extra powers, but keeping it would help you to recruit another companion. Hmm, difficult. I think we're keeping them for now and absorbing them maybe later. The stench of tent liquids was smothering, but the tenor was rumored to uh, possess a piece of the meter, so you pressed on. Uh, when you told him what you're looking for, he shrugged. He had uh, once used a piece of the tanning vet to speed up the reaction. Now, though, he'd, fo uh, he'd found reliable source of tanning catalyst and didn't need the meteor an uh, anymore. Unfortunately for you, however, it lay at the bottom of the vet full toxic material. If you were desperate enough, you could simply reach for it. Yeah, you gave it a shot, why not? You put your hand in the vat, feeding the bottom for the stone. Your hand only felt a little warm, but then you finally found the meteor short and withdrew it. You were sever uh, severely burned. We're keeping it. There we go. Three collected. Got the nice little orchid house here. In conspicuous range, uh, away from the main road, um, housed a black market which dealt with uh, contrabands of all kinds. So, well, we don't have anything to sell and we don't need anything, but we want the meteor. When he made an unusual demand, Juher Ackerman, the merchant, located, agi uh, agitated, he considered the rock a lucky charm and was unwilling to give it up. If he did, he would charge you more than the rest of his goods to make up for his loss. You keep prices low, hard, and offer to share his business contracts with the merchant. Yes. The merchant agrees handing you the meteor and wishing you good luck. You decided to keep it. You had all of the meteor pieces you wanted. When you returned to the main road, the messenger handed you a letter from the wizard. The man wasn't happy with your stunt at the brothel. 
but provide the location of persons as per the agreement. It was a trap, but it wasn't the first you were willing to walk into. Well, we're not going to go there yet, buddies. I want more meteor shards. Here's a necropolis. Sounds like a place where meteors should be. We arrived at an area dominated by sinkholes and mud pits. It served as a graveyard of sorts, allowing coffins to simply sink into the uh, bog. It was highly economical. Reflections were interrupted by the sign of a tall figure uh, pecking back and forth across the necropolis. In the morning mist, the surreal landscape, he looked uh, like an apparition. Dressed in all black and carrying a shovel, he looked as though he must be an undertaker. You tried to find out his identity. The man's politely greeted turned into excitement as, as uh, he realized who you were. His name was Shane Carter Holmes. He recognized you from uh, your hunt for the masked men between coffins and f funeral services. Your one-man slaughterhouse routine, as he called it, made him a pretty penny. He'd been looking for you for weeks to press, express his thanks. Meteor absorbed. Warren is now affected by swiftness. That's what I'm looking for. Good old Meteor. So just out of curiosity, we have a couple of wounds. Like currently we're at, we have rattling cough uh, and a burnt ha hand. Uh, that all sucks. Our aim is a bit low, minus 20 overall. But we got some movement and we might be able to get even more. First and foremost, he's going to be the one with the Canon Calvera. Calvera. Healing Elixir, Mandrake Road. We don't need the Plated West for him, by the way. Well, doesn't matter. He's the only real uh, essential character. Everyone else is not really essential. Um, medical bag. We're not giving him opium. What the heck? Well, I suppose that's the best he could get. Randy is really. He looks like a porn star. Anyways, let's find more Meteor pieces and specifically let's trade for one more weapon. We got enough money. Weapons come first and then I would say trinkets are the second most important. The Holy Musket is our next target. I think we're going to still keep the Elephant Rifle. But the six shooter needs to go, I suppose. We sell all the shit that we really don't need and fill up with cash. So, yeah, there's the holy musket. Yet another good item for our sniper. I really appreciate it. Let's look at the card selection real quick because we already got a couple of cards. Maybe we got some sniper cards on top of it. That would be helpful. Yeah, there we go. We got, uh, finally, we got uh, the ricochet shot. That's not too bad. So we're taking the invisibility piece, I like that.
The regeneration piece isn't bad either. It's actually quite good. Um, Well, I guess, although they don't provide any real benefits other than to defense and a bit of sight, um, that's still okay. I really want to give all of the good cards to Warren uh, to make up um, and, and let to let him be the protagonist. I think that's very fitting. Okay, let's see if we can find something else. There is definitely something up here, but apparently not reachable yet. I want to go to another place, one that has a meteor in it. So far we only had two meteors and look at that, there's a lot of burnt ground over there. Um, yeah, we don't need anything here. This is probably where we're going to go later in the mission. I really would like to get another meteor piece. But it seems that's almost impossible. Impossible. Yeah, we've looked through all of uh, these locations. Unfortunately, no further meteor option, which means we need to go to a Lookout Hill. Um, this is where the next combat is going to start. The old fort uh, offered a strong defense. A defensive position to whoever managed to get in there first, knowing you'd come for persons. The wizard has set up an ambush with his best men. You had uh, deduced his scheme, however. Now you just have to decide if you want to attack or let them stew a while. We're going to attack. Warren is not being held back easily, and certainly not from any guy who calls himself the wizard. Might as well call him the douchebag. Let's go. You were a told person you would be there. No one bothered to specify uh, whether he'd be alive. Okay. Maybe person is dead. Even the person the is dead. The best man couldn't stop you. Stealing the opium stash would add insult to injury. Okay, claim the opium stashes as optional. There is the main gate over here. That's the, exactly the fort where we defended earlier. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Let's move in. We have maximum movement. Just want to make sure uh, that we're clear on who stands where. Um, that's the, pro probably one of the few locations where we can't be flanked from here and here. Any other location other than this here is probably a bad location. It's only two damage, unfortunately. And boy oh boy, these things here are bad cover. Yeah, we're going to go for this cover here. 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five. It's not a kill. It's not a kill. Gosh, they have too many hit points. That's definitely not a kill. That's most likely not a kill. And that's most likely not a kill either. So before we are wasting the elephant rifle... Let's see if we can actually shoot that target here. Well, he was hit for 5 damage, that's not bad. Good start, good start. Keep it up. One, two, three, four, five. If we were to shriek, that'll be a lot of luck, but everyone would take a substantial amount of damage. We would kill one, down to two, down to four, four, two. I actually like the idea. We're most likely going to take some damage afterwards, but that's okay. All right, let's go. So, Cannon Calavera is two damage. Let's try this here. Gosh, he took two damage right away. These guys have rifles that shoot into full cover with um, two damage. Oh, that sucks. Forty-five percent. Yeah, I think he's not going to hit that one. Yeah, I figured because there's too much luck left. We're down to three hit points. Let's take a close examination of the situation. So that's a hundred percent shot for two hit points. She's going to die as well. Let's take out the ladies with the weapons first. That's one down. I don't want to take more damage. Let's give let's take this nice little buff to uh, to luck. Were to shoot. Well, this uh, this time the ricochets are working for the first time. But well, at least partially. I mean, there's no one in here. Just requires some sort of ricocheting inside here. Well, that's not bad. Yeah.
Hmm. Well. Still trying to find another ricochet target. No, oh, it's not good enough either. Well, I guess we're going to shoot. Miss. Oh, it's just draining her luck. They are also draining our luck, so that's a bit of a bummer. This guy, by the way, clearly doesn't know that we're here. But we can kill him, he has less than 45 luck, so that's a one shot. We definitely need to kill the woman next. That's unfortunate. see can we no that's only one hit let's try to deplete his luck we're definitely going to take one more shot so we're down to one hp afterwards need to heal him Time for a healing elixir. There we go. But this time we are fine because the 100% shot is going to kill this lady. There we go. We're going to move him out of the way. This guy here has a very, very bad position. From my perspective, we cannot engage on him. So we're leaving him behind, and instead we're going to take the opium. You recovered a supply of opium. Let's try to ricochet and get the guy here. Is this going to work out? No, it's not. That's a shame. That would be a nice shot. That would be a freaking nice shot. No, unfortunately. We have nothing to bounce off. Ok, 
Yeah, this can here is the only thing where it could bounce off. Alright, I think I have an idea. This here. Because the door is not open. But still, even with a bucket downstairs, that wouldn't work. Moving into safe cover. down. Where's the entrance to this mud hole, by the way? I think it's really over here. Uh, and back here. Alright. Moving in. Is this going to be a hit? would hit him but he only has he only takes a very limited amount of damage anyways let's still go for it there we go Claimed the opium sash. And I think we can now open the door here. Use the time to reload. He's not the fastest one, that's a bit of a problem. There we go. This guy is continuously running away from us. We're, we're always turning invisible after killing someone. Like his worst nightmare haunting him. Slowly but very surely. No. Let me ask a different question. We could hit him, but I don't want to do that because he regains luck just by being hit. Well, that was a bad idea, buddy. There we go, down. I know that there's one hombre up here. 11 hit points, um, yeah, well, by thinking about it, you know, I mean, maybe we should.
Maybe we should move down again. Ooh, that's a great idea. Moving to the entrance over here. Eleven hit points is nothing to sneeze at, uh, sneeze at, so let's just get everyone in position. If that's the wizard, that's fine. I admire him for having eleven hit points. Reloaded for him. Reloading the sniper here. Actually, also reloading the gun. All right. Is that going to hit? Oh, perfect. All right, so finally a ricochet that works. There we go, 10 damage. Moving around the corner. Miguel El Hermaso Or Orcoa uh, Orcao has been killed. Persons thanked you politely for the rescue. He was rather disappointed that there was no one left to kill. Well that's fine, buddy, I mean but he promised to ride with you as long as he could have some payback. That's good. I like it. We got our band together. Just the father is missing. It was time to bring Floran Florence back, which means you needed the posse to, uh, a posse to uh, hard enough to invade the purgatory. It's the afterlife. When the dust settled after the battle, he was there, the stranger who had halted your death. The man who told you to kill and burn. You knew now, from the cold feeling in your bones, uh, who he must be. He applauded your efforts to bring together this posse and said you had uh, only one more task ahead of you before you could invade Pichertori and confront the wizard and uh, force him to reveal how to get there. You said you first had a question for him with a wry grin. He replied, shoot. He said uh, you had a good reason to invade the Fugitory, true love, he snarled at this. But you continued, you couldn't figure his anger uh, for the life of you. And you knew he always had an anger. It was simple, he replied. He said the natural order of things was the most uh, vicious crime ever perpetrated on the mankind. It turned men into slaves who crawled from the cradle and graves into servitude. Their pathetic existence hardly qualifying as uh, as life at all. Chaos, on the other hand, revealed mankind's full potential. Where there was uh, where there were madmen, there were geniuses. Where there were most uh, depraved villains, the greatest heroes rose. Uh, to upset the status quo was mankind's highest calling, and there was no greater bastion um, of the status quo than Petrotori. He had been grooming as you, uh, as you, as his champion all over, he said, and now um, that the end was in sight, once you forced the wither to show you where the way was to purgatory, you could end mankind's servitude forever. It was your final test. 
Well, finally he revealed what he was up to. Fortunately, I mean, we have a great post, but we do have shitty weapons and uh, still not enough money. Harmonica gun, another shitty weapon. And the judge. Oh, wow, that's actually a good weapon. Aim 15 to kill. One must prepare to be killed. This gun trades defense for damage. Um, aim 15. That's pretty nice. One ammunition, 12 damage. Wow. All right. Uh, that is a pretty, pretty good weapon. For someone with a good aim, that is. And Renly is not the one. Renly still has syphilis and spine fractures. But maybe the new guy knows how to shoot a weapon. No. He actually doesn't. He knows jack shit, and I don't know why these here should be the finest of all men. The actual only one that is remarkably okayish is Chevio, and he suffers having way too less hit points. Anyways, back to the judge. Our main character is going to take it. 12 hit po uh, 12 points of damage or nothing to sneeze at. We still have the one armed bandit. Which is somewhat okay. Here's a weapon for extended firefights. Fanning has like 18 ammunition, that's okay. This here allows you to fire twice per turn, that's okay. I like the chain revolver, but A minus 15 is, is really, really bad. Um. Monica gun is also bad. I mean, really not impressed with the weapons. I don't have any other way of saying it other than being really not impressed with the weapons. You don't need opium, you can have it all. Uh, in return, though, I'd ask you to please give us. Oh, the judge, by the way, only costs 250. It's a pretty good weapon, I give you that. Aim 15 deals an incredible amount of damage. Holy Musket isn't bad either. I think we're going to go with Canon Calavera for now. Canon Calavera. And I probably would want to think about uh, a uh, weird monocle because we're looking at really, really bad uh, aim scores. So who would be taking the Canon Calavera? Probably this guy here. I mean, yeah, the trinkets are really expensive, they are super super good, and I would spend, uh, and the weapons as well of course, I would spend my entire money just to make sure that we can get good weapons, and as you can see we have literally just spent all of our money, um, because without it, this bunch of idiots will not hit anything. So here's a 12, uh, 10 aim bonus. I'm thinking about giving that. Maybe to Warren. Warren is healed of all of his uh, wounds, but unfortunately he did not get any of the wounds. That is very poor 
I think our Shiroki friend has gotten a couple of boons. So yeah, Spinal Jeopardy. That gives him at least plus 10 aim, that's fine. Randy will get boons quite soon. So yeah, let's just give him a west for now. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Like I said, I'm not overly excited with the aim values of everyone. So you can invest in extra damage once you fix your aim problem. But aim should be around 50 to 60, elsewise it, it really doesn't matter. Who has a high luck value because we just got a uh, face off? Yeah, that's good. So King of Spades Barrage um, is really, really uh, decent. Giving him a pair of kings is even better because now he has plus four movement speed. You're welcome. Um, on the other side, getting more defense is even better for him. Um, Taking three of a kind is maximum uh, enhances his maximum luck. Oh, that's not too bad. I think he's just missing one card for full house, which is wonderful because that's oh that's four of a kind plus fifteen aim. Wait a second. Well, plus fifteen aim is also not bad because that ups his aim to. Uh, to 90. Um. I like the idea of becoming invisible. Unfortunately, by doing so, if I'm going for a straight, which is not bad for him, uh, for Warren, if I'm going for a straight though, he is going to take away a lot of bony from the others. The way that the cards are being played out, we might want to. Um, Start giving out pairs and full houses. So how I would want to order the cards is uh, Chevio as the sniper might uh, need a full house. It's unfortunate that we only have one sniper card here. So maybe three of a kind will do. So we could either give him um, three hit point cards or alternatively uh, alternatively we're giving him three jacks to bolster his defense and also offer him to regenerate we're not in direct sunlight. Some extra luck, some defense, got six hit points, four of a kind is plus 15 aim. That's good enough. 85 aim is wonderful for a sniper. That's the main value. The second value that we should maximize is, then, uh, is the amount of luck that he has. And we did that successfully, so that's not bad. As for Warren, Warren needs to be the frontliner. So I guess with three of a kind and 30 maximum luck, that's not too bad. Um, we could become invisible on top of this and use the Shriek ability. So that's four movement on top of it. I like the full house 
Uh, it's just a very, very strong uh, setup. The invisibility is great, the shrieking is great, and I mean, he has transfusion, so he can really literally change hit points with everyone, uh, with anyone. He doesn't need um, any regeneration, so that's just very, very strong. Let's take a look um, on the cards that are left. We do have a pair of kings for Randy, so he can use uh, barrage. Actually, you know what? Let's give it to uh, to Henry because he has more luck, and barrage costs 90 luck, so it's not bad. Um, And there is a little bit of a high card for him. Oh, that's okay. So I think we ordered the cards quite well. I'm not sure if we can get some more money somewhere. It's really up, uh, up to us to kill the wizard now. Because all of this here seems to be like non-explorable. Unless I've grossly missed anything. No, we can't barter because we're out of money. Yeah, there is really nothing we can do. Let's go for the wizard. You know what? It's been long enough. Um, I'm going to do that in the next episode. A uh, little bit of a cliff cliffhanger. Sorry for taking so long, but thank you for watching. Anyways, if you've enjoyed it, leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. I uh, definitely want to do the last two parts uh, to finish this wonderful game. See you in the next part.